On this video we're taking a look at our NBA best bets for the games that are happening on Thursday, March 24, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Cleveland Cavaliers vs Toronto Raptors. Over 214. And here is why. Cleveland watched Lebron James drop a 38-point triple-double in his return home in a 131-120 loss. Darius Garland scored 29 and added 17 assists for Cleveland, which had a chance to extend their lead as the sixth seed over the Raptors if it wasn't for James' epic night. James improved to 17-1 in games against the Cavs. He has averaged 29.6 points against Cleveland, his most against any opponent. Cleveland is now 5-5 in its last 10 games. The Raptors let an opportunity to inch closer to the fifth seed slip away in a 113-99 road loss to the Chicago Bulls. Pascal Siakam led Toronto with 22 points on 8 of 14 shooting and had 5 rebounds. Fred Van Vliet scored 19 points on 7 for 22 shooting from the field and 3 for 12 snapping from 3-point range. Chris Boucher had 19 points and a team-high 10 rebounds. Toronto is in 7th place in the Eastern Conference standings, a game behind Cleveland. They are 5-5 in their last 10 games. The Cleveland Cavaliers are averaging 107.4 points on 46.8% shooting and allowing 104.6 points on 45% shooting. Darius Garland is averaging 21.4 points and 8.6 assists, while Jared Allen is averaging 16.1 points and 10.8 rebounds. Evan Mobley is the third double-digit scorer and Kevin Love is grabbing 7.3 rebounds. The Cleveland Cavaliers are shooting 35.2% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free-throw line. The Cleveland Cavaliers are allowing 34.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.5 rebounds per game. The Toronto Raptors are averaging 108.7 points on 44.2% shooting and allowing 107.3 points on 46.3% shooting. Pascal Siakam is averaging 22 points and 5.1 assists, while Fred Van Vliet is averaging 21 points and 4.6 rebounds. Gary Trent Jr. is the third double-digit scorer and Aga Nunabi is grabbing 5.5 rebounds. The Toronto Raptors are shooting 34.9% from beyond the arc and 75.3% from the free-throw line. The Toronto Raptors are allowing 35.2% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.4 rebounds per game. Denver Nuggets vs Phoenix Suns. The Nuggets for the win. And here is why. The Phoenix Suns have been in red-hot form as they've won 8 of their last 9 games overall, and they will be gunning for a 7th straight victory after taking down the Timberwolves in a 125-116 road win last night. DeAndre Ayton led the team with 35 points, 14 rebounds and 3 assists, Devin Booker added 28 points with 7 assists, while Landry Shamit provided the spark off the bench with 19 points. As a team, the Suns shot 52% from the field and 12 of 33 from the three-point line as they struggled to find their offense in the first half and trailed by as many as 15 points before they exploded for 42 points in the fourth quarter to win comfortably in the end. The Denver Nuggets have been a little below their best as they've lost four of their last seven games overall, but they will be eager to stay hot after blowing past the Clippers in a 127-115 home win on Tuesday. Nikola Jokic led the team with 30 points, 14 rebounds and 6 assists, Jeff Green, Aaron Gordon and Bones Highland each scored 16 points, while Monty Morris chipped in with 15 points. As a team, the Nuggets shot 54% from the field and 16 of 32 from the three-point line as they set the tone with 37 points in the first quarter to take the early double-digit lead, and they managed to stay in front all the way till the end as they always found the three-point shot when they needed it. The Suns will again be without Chris Paul and Cameron Johnson, while the Nuggets are again missing Michael Porter Jr. and Zeke Naji. The Suns have been one of the hottest teams in the league despite missing CP3 and they looked real good in last night's comeback win over the informed Timberwolves. The Nuggets are coming into this one with some decent form themselves and they took down the Clippers thanks to a big game from Jokic. The Suns only need a win or two to clinch the top spot in the West and secure the regular season title. They will be playing the second of a back-to-back -back set after facing the Wolves on Wednesday. 
I am pretty sure that Monty Williams will decide to rest some of his key players on Thursday as he can't afford to risk any injuries with only a few weeks before the playoffs. This is the chance for the Nuggets to exploit the situation and get a precious win. Denver is fighting for the number 6 seed that will guarantee a playoff spot, so they need to beat Phoenix and then OKC at home before a two-game road trip in the East. Milwaukee Bucks vs Washington Wizards. Milwaukee for the win. And here is why. The Milwaukee Bucks have been in red-hot form as they've won 9 of their last 11 games overall, and they will be eager to stay hot after blowing past the Bulls in a 126-98 home win on Tuesday. Drew Holiday led the team with 27 points and 7 assists, Giannis Antetokounmpo added 25 points with 17 rebounds and 5 assists, while Pat Connaughton chipped in with 14 points off the bench. As a team, the Bucks shot a sizzling 61% from the field and 12 of 28 from the three-point line as they dominated this one right from the start and poured in 33 points in the first quarter to take the early double-digit lead before running away with it in the second half to make it a blowout. On the season, the Wizards are 22nd in the league in scoring offense with 108.3 points per game. Washington is 24th in rebounding by grabbing 43.2 boards a night, while they stand 13th in assists by dishing out 24.6 dimes a contest. The Wizards are 18th in scoring defense by allowing 111.6 points per game. Bradley Beal leads the team with 23.2 points plus 6.6 .6 assists per game this season. Kyle Kuzma kicks in 17.1 points and 8.5 boards per contest. Kristaps Porzingis, 19.5 points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, Daniel Gafford, Raul Nito, Thomas Bryant, Rui Hachimura, Ish Smith, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope, 12.5 points, and Corey Kispert are key pieces of the rotation for coach Wes Unsell Jr. Washington is sixth in the league in field goal percentage as they shoot 46.8% from the floor as a team. The Wizards are 30th in threes per game as they drain 10.4 triples per contest, and they stand 26th in three-point shooting by connecting on 33.9% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Beal is done for the season with a wrist injury that requires surgery. Kuzma, knee, didn't play Monday so keep an eye on his status for this contest. The Wizards are going to be shorthanded in this one as Kyle Kuzma has been ruled out, while the Bucks have ruled out Chris Middleton with a wrist injury. Here we have two teams headed in opposite directions as the Wizards have been ice cold lately, and they just blew a 23-point lead to slumping Rockets, while the Bucks have reeled off 9 wins in their last 11 games and are coming into this one fresh off a 28-point win over the Bulls. The line is a little hefty, but the Bucks are 7-2 at TS in their last 9 games overall, and I think that trend continues here with another big win. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.